The Amanda Knox case has captured the attention of millions, but the trial and the frenzy around it has actually inspired a New York artist who worries about its impact on women across the planet. Al Jazeera's Kaylin Ford explains, but a warning, this story does contain some strong language. Sienna Reed never thought her art would imitate life quite so closely. But while living in Rome, she became fascinated with the media's portrayal of Amanda Knox, the young American student convicted of murdering her British roommate, Meredith Kircher, in 2007. Compulsive liar. American whore. Always hunting men. Oddly libidinous. I was actually doing a lot of research at the time on women in history who had faced character assassination. The most common words that they would be called would be either about their sexualities or they would be called something like demonic, witch-like. Reed has collected more than 150 negative words about Knox since her arrest, enough to fill this 30-foot scroll she's written them on. Reed then painted the words onto the female body letter by letter. When someone is being called such a vast amount of negative terms that it has to harm them in a very physical way. Who knows what Jezebel means or what succubus means or Lilith. Um, these words are from another time, and yet they're being used in the 21st century. Writer Aaron Ryan has studied the media's coverage of the Knox trial. On mainstream networks, people asking her how often she had sex, about her use of sex toys, about her use of marijuana, as though that somehow has bearing on whether or not she murdered her roommate. And it doesn't, they, the, those two don't feed into each other, but the narrative that's being created is that they do. You wrote something in the book that surprised me that you said, what if I had not gone on a campaign for casual sex? It was irresponsible. It's a narrative that Ryan wants to see change. I think part of that is, is media being responsible in the way that they discuss these stories and being careful not to contribute to a narrative that's confusing to young women. Meredith Kircher's murder trial is not over. Knox and her boyfriend, Raffaele Sulicito, were found guilty of Kircher's murder in 2009, then acquitted in 2011. In January, Italy's highest court found them guilty again. Knox could face 28 and a half years in prison and is expected to appeal. But the verdict that's been reached in the court of public opinion still stands. Kaylin Ford, Al Jazeera, New York.